I speak because she takes everything. You know. <laughs> <laughs> we asked her to. Um, I, this is special to me. Um, as many may know, I live very close to here. In fact, I did not have to fight to find a parking space. I actually walked here <laughs> in less than five minutes. And I would like to just say how happy I am to see the building here. Um, I used to be a member of the school board, and you used to always talk about in this general area, you have more young people of school age in this area than any other place in the city. Uh, I believe I see a school board member nodding his head back there, Mr. McManus, in the back nodding his head. So I think this is going to really be good for our young people. And I also want to give a shout out, I think I saw Sister Carol back yeah. there. Uh, Sister Carol and I work together on the Phoenix Project. There's probably some other Phoenix members here, but we've been working on what we should do with this area for a long time. And over 10 years ago, we sat and we tried to vision what would be the right choice for this location when we knew Fairview was going to um, be raised. And we thought about different things, and I gotta be honest with you, at the time we didn't know the library opportunity was gonna be here, but the things that we talked about, this is right in line, in fact, probably a little better than what we had in mind. So I just wanna say thank you so much. I'm, I just want you to know, though, as a community, we have to work together because this took 10, 12 years of planning before we even knew a library was even getting thought about. So again, I just wanna thank those folks who worked, and I wanna thank the members of the community who also had the vision that we could do something really special here. I'm just so happy to be here. So thank you all. Thank you, Commissioner. Thank you very much. Now I'd like to introduce Harrison Township Board of Trustees President George Ann Gotzi, who is going to round out the elected officials donning scissors today. Ms. Gotzi. <laughs> ah, you have to make way. <laughs> As a resident of Harrison Township for the last 30 years, I am very excited. I have always felt the library was the key to a community and the lifeblood of our children. It just offers them so much, and so I think this is a wonderful thing that has happened. Thank you. from the office of Governor John Kasich and uh, all of the uh, proclamations, hello, <laughs> will be on display in the conference room. We're going to have them all. There are some other elected officials here I'd like to mention, Dr. Robert Walker from the Dayton School Board and Mr. John McManus. And we also have Superintendent Lori Ward who is here. Now we're getting so close to the scissors and you know what that means. Final remarks, please join me in welcoming the Executive Director of Dayton Metro Library, Mr. Tim Gannett. Thank you. In the last uh, couple of days, I've been talking to myself a lot about what's going on. Um, and I've been calling this the Great Northwest because it really is, not just as, because it is a, a great big building, um, because there's so many great things that are going to be happening in this building as we move forward. And it's special in so many ways. I, I'd like to be able to, to talk about all of them. Fortunately, for many of you, you've been able to pick up the, uh, the flyer and we haven't run out of those and you've had a chance to, to get a preview of some of the things that are in here. Uh, because I could uh, spend an hour talking about all the good things that are in here. Um, and I know many of you have probably been here before uh, in front of, been to locations where um, I've spoken and I've gone on for an hour about what's going to be in these. We don't need to do that. You're going to be able to see that yourself right in a few minutes here. So I'm really pleased. But I, I couldn't let uh, this, uh, this new initiative start without at least giving some homage to the three branches that, that closed last couple of weeks that are uh, being replaced by this great uh, new building here. That Dayton View branch, it's been on uh, Salem Avenue at Walmish for the last 86 years, built in 1930. Um, there is no library in this uh, system that is better recognized as an, an emblem of this library, even maybe more so than the downtown library. Um, it is uh, my responsibility to make sure that it, we find the next best use for that building there. So I'm working with uh, a lot of people to make sure that we can make that happen there. And, and both the Northtown Shiloh and the Fort McKinley branches have been around for uh, for a long time. I'm actually older than they are, so that really didn't allow them for that long. But uh, but they were both built in a time when libraries were a place where you came in, you picked up materials, and you took them home. 
Um, libraries today are so much more than that. They need to be much more than that. And this building is, is a great illustration of that. So while we have this kind of bittersweet feeling of closure on those, uh, those branches, I kind of liken it when I moved out of my parents' home. You know, there's all that anticipation about uh, a new life, a new beginning, uh, new adventures to go on, uh, great things to learn and to, to happen. And for the library, I think it's very much the same thing. We will never forget our home that we grew up in. We will never forget those libraries. Um, uh, Marsh has already acknowledged uh, a lot of our special guests here, and I, I really want to make sure to take a few minutes to acknowledge a few more people here. Jean Hollihan, uh, our board president, uh, mentioned the, the levy and uh, thanking the voters. You can't do that enough um, about uh, what it is that uh, uh, the voters did to enable this program for all these branches, and this is just one of those uh, great examples of uh, community doing great things. Um, 63% of the voters approved that. I went back just yesterday and was looking at the precinct results for this area. It was closer to 80%. Uh -huh. all right. all right. Part of that was due to uh, Commissioner Foley helping us. He was our campaign chair for that. Um, and so many other people helped us get the message out. But they wanted to make sure that, this, uh, that uh, we were able to get in front of people that what we believe is this is the right time for libraries to be the focus of this community, and we're able to do that, so I'm pleased by that. Um, I don't know, did Joe Ailers make it to the board meeting to the, uh, the next year today? I haven't seen him. I wanted to give him a special shout out. He's been with us for 14 years. The next month will be his last uh, board meeting, so I wanted to give him a special shout out. Partly because of a conversation we had in early 2011 when we had shelved our facilities plan after the recession that we, we had this vision of a large system-wide uh, improvement, and Joe pulls me aside after a board meeting and says, Tim, is it time to brush that thing off again? I think timing, a lot of times, is important. I think we hit the timing right for these projects. Uh, so I wanted to thank Joe for that. Um, certainly, we've already had a couple people talk about the Phoenix project. I've been involved with uh, talking with them about this project for, uh, for now uh, over three years now, um, and all the people, and. Uh, Sister, I really appreciate you being here. And the other people, actually, uh, uh, many of you uh, are parking on the roof of uh, Good Sam today as, the, as a benefit of the generosity of uh, Good Sam Hospital. So I appreciate uh, Sister Carol Bauer in, uh, in uh, making that happen as well. Um, the, uh, uh, just a, one more kudo for the architects. They really did a lot of great work to design this building to meet the needs of the future. To, uh, to, to take our aspirations and uh, create a library that will reflect that. And I think the only way they can do that is if they listen, and they really did. We had so many community meetings. As a matter of fact, we had more community meetings about this branch. More people show up at the community meetings about this branch than we did for the downtown library. People up here know what they're, they were looking for, what they wanted, and have been uh, uh, great partners in doing that. We certainly, the neighborhood associations and the, the priority boards that, that helped to bring people to those meetings and helped provide feedback over scores of meetings over the last several years has really, I think, made this a real winner there. Um, I want to thank uh, uh, Belinda. I see her from the uh, Chambers Minority Business Partnership and uh, Katie Crosby from the Human Relations Council and the other community groups that have helped us make sure that we make this local, that we make it the uh, best uh, opportunity for uh, minority women and local uh, contractors to do as best they can in their participation in this program. So I just really want to thank everybody that really came together to make this uh, wonderful. We're ready to, to do the uh, opening, but i got to say thank you to the staff, okay? Give me one moment just to shout out to, to those staff members here that have been a part of this. Um, they, uh, they really have come together as a team because it is the three branches that are coming together. Jeez. And it is really going to be a, uh, a great uh, opportunity for those of you that were a, a user of one of the other branches. That you can come in and you will see the familiar faces, the people that you trusted, the people that you love. And I, I, so I really look forward to, uh, to making this available to it. It was a, a team effort putting it together. I really have to thank a couple of people who have been almost working, but it feels like around the clock on this. Tom Marchesano, our instruction director. I don't know where he's hiding at. He's around here somewhere. Uh, Jane Close here has really been another person that really helped, helped me thank them and the rest of the staff.
my staff is filtered out around here somewhere. I, I see some of them. Please raise your hands. Uh, I brought you around here. There's, they're the ones that will have the, uh, the honor and the responsibility to uh, serve the 50,000 residents that live in this, uh, in this neighborhood that, uh, around here that will use that. Uh, Tracy uh, uh, Phillips and Sharon Case are the two managers. Are they here? Woo! Can I see them? Give us, uh, to get started here. Um, <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're going to distribute some scissors. 